Hey everyone, iOS 26 is finally here and it brings a fresh new look and a bunch of really cool features to the iPhone. I've already updated my device and today I'm going to show you the best new features in iOS 26 that you definitely need to check out. And trust me, some of these are game changers. Let's jump right in. Let's start with the design. iOS 26 introduces liquid glass. And honestly, it makes the entire interface feel alive. Icons, widgets, and panels now have this dynamic glass-like effect that reflects and refracts what is behind them in real time. On top of that, you can now fully customize your home screen icons, switch between light and dark styles, add color tints, or even go for a clear, see-through look. It makes every iPhone feel unique. No two home screens have to look the same anymore. On the lock screen, you can now customize the clock. It resizes and adapts beautifully, so it looks great with your photos and even when notifications pop up. Next up, the new 3D wallpapers these add depth and movement to your background, making your lock screen come alive when you move your phone. It's one of the favorite visual updates. Another feature is that Apple finally added something really useful, estimated charging time. Now, when you plug in your iPhone, you'll see exactly how long it'll take to fully charge. Excellent. Another feature is the phone app layout. The phone app has a new unified layout. Favorites, reasons, and voicemails are now in one place, making everything easier to access. And also in messages, we have messages translation. You can automatically translate text messages, even in group chats. This is a super handy if you are talking with friends or family in different languages. There are some camera changes features as well. Speaking of updates, the camera app got a cleaner design too. The capture modes are easier to switch between and there is even a new alert that tells you if your lens is smudged so your photos always come out clear. Another feature is magnifier for screenshots. The magnifier tool is you can zoom in on details with the loop, just like before. Another feature is custom snooze time. One of the most requested features is finally here. You can change the snooze time on your alarms. No more being stuck with nine minutes. You can set it anywhere from one to 15 minutes. The other feature is search bar at bottom. Apple also moved the search bar to the bottom in some apps. It may seem small, but it makes a big difference. Way easier to reach with one hand. iOS 26 also brings a brand new app, Apple Games. It is a hub where you can see all your games, track schools, and discover new ones. If you're into mobile gaming, this is a really nice addition. Another new app is Preview. This one lets you open and edit PDFs, scan documents, autofill forms and more basically it is a powerful document tool built right into ios the calculator app has been redesigned too it's cleaner simpler and feels more modern small change but it looks great typing also feels fresh with a new keyboard layout the changes are subtle but the design is cleaner and easier to use Another great feature here is Photos app layout. In the Photos app, there are now two main tabs, Library and Collections. It makes navigating your photos way simpler and you can even customize the collections view. And last but not least, there are new ringtones available. Plus, you can set custom ones more easily And even the closing apps animation looks smoother and cooler now, making iOS feel more polished overall. So, 
Those are the biggest new features in iOS 26 from the design changes to brand new apps and small tweaks that make a big difference. Except Apple Intelligence because that one is not supported for my mobile phone right now. Personally, I'm loving the new wallpapers and the ability to customize snow's times. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more iOS 26 tips and tricks and stay tuned because in the next videos, I'll be diving deeper in these features and showing you how to get the most out of them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.